What if I told you that some of your memories, the moments you swear happened exactly as you recall, might be completely false? That someone could plant a memory in your mind and you would believe it just as firmly as your real experiences? It sounds like science fiction, but in reality, memory is one of the most fragile, easily manipulated aspects of the human mind, and that makes it a perfect tool for control. Take the infamous Lost in the Mall experiment by psychologist Elizabeth Loftus. Participants were told stories about their childhood, some real, some completely fabricated. One of them was simple. As a child, they had once been lost in a shopping mall. At first, the subjects had no memory of this, but after repeated questioning and subtle suggestions, many of them began remembering details. Who found them? What the mall looked like? How they felt? They swore it had happened, even though it never did. Their minds had filled in the blanks, constructing a completely false memory. This wasn't just people misremembering. This was memory being rewritten. The implications of Loftus' work are chilling. If memories can be implanted with mere suggestion, what does that mean for our legal systems, for relationships, for our very identities? 